everyone, how are you? I hope you all are fine. So in this video, we will discuss about the new topic that is mall concept. Okay, so let's start. Okay. First of all, here the first term comes like, what is mole? Okay. So, mole is a, it is a counting unit for the determination. Determination of of amount of chemical. It means it is a count. It is a counting unit that is used to determine the amount of chemical. Okay. I hope you understand that in the simple, it is a what? It is a counting unit. It means it is used to count the amount of chemical. Okay. Now we have to, uh, we all know that in one dozen, there is 12 particles. And uh, in a century, in a one century, this is also a counting unit to for determination of amount. Okay. And in one century, there is hundred particles. In the same way, there is one more, uh, it is like in one mole, there is a 6.022 into 10 to the power minus, sorry, 23 particle. Okay, it means mole is also a counting unit that is a uh, is used to det for the determination of the amount of chemical okay not but uh, chemical okay like uh, in one dozen we all know there is 12 particles it means that there is 12 amount okay now in one century there is 100 particles okay in the same way there is one mole it means there is a 6.022 into 10 to the power 10 to the power 23 particles okay there are so this number of particles also known as the uh, this one is also known as that is the a gradual number that is really okay i hope you understand this thing that what is mole and what to um, what is I've got a got your number okay it is 6.022 into 10 to the power 23 okay um, there are many like uh, one gross okay, in one gross there is 144 particles. If we want 144 particles of anything, then we want, then we, um, then we call, what? Give me the one gross of this and this, okay? And, uh, there is one point also, that is, one mole. of 
any substance is always equal to the Six point zero two two into ten to the power twenty three particles. If you want one six point two two into six point zero two two into ten to the power twenty three particles, then we then we call give me the one mole substance. Okay, of any substance. Now let. Talk about the mole calculation for atoms. Okay, let's discuss this topic. That is mole calculation for atoms. First of all, we all know that. Uh, Like this, um, sorry, is equal to the get S E like this one is called atomic mass, and this one is called atomic number. Atomic number, okay, or Mass number. Okay, this is and uh, this x one is any uh, uh, any symbol symbol of any atom. Okay, so the upper one is called atomic mass or mass number, and the lower one is called What atomic number? Okay. Now, see some example like uh, like any in 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 a we all know its atomic number is eleven and mass number is okay. So this one is what? Atomic number, and this one is mass number, or we can say atomic mass. Okay, and this one is symbol of what? Sodium. In the same way, there are many like helium, lithium, beryllium. Okay, so these are the and uh, let's move further. Now, atom contains. Okay, atom contains what? Three subatomic um, particles. That is electron, proton, neutron. Okay. So electron, proton, and neutron. Okay, so these are the what three sub atomic particles. Okay, atom contains three sub atomic particles that is electron, proton, and 
neutron okay and our symbols are like uh, electron proton and neutron okay i hope you understand let to see some more point about the electron proton neutron mass of an electron proton and neutron so let's see first one is mass of an electron that is 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 31 in kilogram okay and uh, 9.1 into 10 to the power minus 28 in gram Mass of proton is equal to one point six three into ten to the power minus twenty four kilogram or one point six three into ten to the power minus twenty seven in gram. Okay. Neutron is equal to one point six seven into ten to the power minus twenty seven kilogram. Okay, this is the mass of electron, proton, and a neutron. That is, the mass of electron is equal to nine point one into ten to the power minus thirty one kilogram. And in gram, uh, there is nine point one into ten to the power minus twenty eight in gram. And the mass of protein is 1.63 into 10 to the power minus 24 kg and 1.63 into mass of proton is 1.63 into 10 to the power minus 24 kg and 1.63 into 10 to the power minus 27 in gram and mass of neutron is equal to 1. 0.67 into 10 to the power minus 27. Now see one more thing that is there is no charge of neutron. Okay, so charge of neutron is equal to there is no charge. Okay. charge of electron okay so charge of electron is sort of proton is plus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 19 coulomb and this one is minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 90 coulomb Okay, in neutron there is no charge and in proton there is plus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 90 kilo and uh, 1.6 minus 1.6 into 10 to the power minus 90 kilo is the charge of what? Electron. Okay, there is only difference of plus and minus. I hope you understand this thing. Let's move further. Like uh, there is two more formula that is total number of proton is equal to total number of electron total number Um, 
number of proton is equal to total number of This is the formula to find the total number of proton and electron that is it is equal to the atomic number okay you can also write z uh, is equal to p is equal to e e is refers to the electron p where is uh, this proton and that is atomic number okay of any atom and uh, next one is that is total proton is total number of neutron If we want to find total number of proton and neutron and there is atomic mass is given then we can find the any two of this is given then we can find the anything, anything from this whether it is proton or neutron is given and we have to find the atomic mass and there is total number of uh, neutron is given then we have to find the total number of if the total number of if there is total number of neutron and atomic mass is given then we can find the total number of proton and uh, if we if there is total number of proton and atomic mass is given then we can find the total number of neutron so with the help of this we can find this thing if we have to find the total number of neutron, then we have to subtract uh, atomic mass minus the uh, total number of proton to get so we can get the total number of proton. Okay, I hope uh, you understand. Sorry, total number of neutron. Okay, I hope you understand this formula. Okay, you have to learn this now. So let's see one more point that is to express to express atomic mass mass of an element. concept of average atomic masses okay it means when we have to express the atomic mass of any element okay of any element then it is only determined with the help, with the concept of average atomic mass okay i hope you understand uh, this thing that is the child about the electron proton and neutron and also about the what that is the about the electron proton and neutron that is are the subatomic particle of atom 
and uh, also this is your formula okay and uh, to express atomic mass of an element then it is only expressed by the concept of atom but is atomic mass okay so we can uh, express this by the concept of what average atomic mass so the concept of average atomic mass we will discuss in the in the next video okay so that's all for today thank you have a nice day